Hello, my name is Stefan Wanagatunga and I'm a sophomore film study student here at Seattle University. I'm also a tutor for the Children's Literacy Project. Volunteering and working as a tutor has greatly shaped and enhanced my education at Seattle University. Myself and four other SU students lead small book clubs at Bailey Gatzard Elementary School called Literature Circles. This is my reflection on Lit Circles at Bailey Gatzert. My name is Roman. My name is Kenneth. My name is Jessica, and the book I'm reading is called Breadwinner. 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 The Breadwinner. What did you think of the book? I think it was a really great book because it had all these actions in it about um, how her father got arrested and how Maria, she went to Mazar to get a husband. Hmm. So, why did you like this book? Uh, I liked it because it has a mix of action, sadness, and a bit of happiness. Yeah. So, basically, almost all the feelings. Mm -hmm. The stories we read deal with topics such as child labor, racism, isolation, and war, accompanied by themes of hope, resiliency, bravery, and courage. The SU tutors facilitate discourse about these stories. Her mom, oh, ooh, her mom says, Terrence, stop talk, talking to the boy like that. So what kind of stuff did Iqbal and his, and his friends go through? Tortured and, um, and get whipped it, stuff like that. And have you ever thought about child labor in Pakistan before? Yeah. You have? Mm -hmm. It's like slavery. Mm -hmm. Did you enjoy reading the book? Yeah. See then after that he figured the he figured the Jerry whatever Mr. that thing. The clue. Hmm? The, the clue Clark can, can, can would Either, Either kill him or leave him. B. B. I guess we were pretty lucky because they let him be. This is the 2011 like, time. There's no such thing like black people hate white people, white people hate yeah, black people. Yeah, no. Well, well, there is, but not a lot. Is it? So you're saying it's, it was worse in the book? It was yeah, worse it was in 1976? Yes, yeah, it was. Like when racism was started. Who started racism first? Uh, Martin Luther King? No, he we've didn't, ended. He tried to stop it. He, he tried ended. To stop it. But, no, he but he didn't end it. stop it. I wonder what the Taliban's um, strongest weakness is. I don't think they even have weaknesses. Wait, no, they do. Because I remember... Every bad thing has a good weakness. Every bad thing has a good weakness? Probably. Mm -hmm. You know, just even in general, working with these students teaches you so much and like how to look at the world in a different way and, you know, they're so bright and they, they know that bad stuff happens but they just kind of take it with a grain of salt and, you know, keep, keep a smile on their face and that lesson alone is something I'll take with me everywhere. I mean. It's not, it's hard, you know, being an adult, it's hard to kind of stay in that mindset. So again, it's nice to work with students that think that way and believe that. So. That's awesome. Yeah. How has working on this project changed you or what have you learned about yourself in working on this project? Oh, well, I guess um, I've learned a lot about just life in general. I mean, these kids, in fifth grade, you know, we've both been in fifth grade before, and it really brings me back to that point in my life and 
how I was learning and how I would have liked to, to learn. Like how would I have liked to experience learning. I try and bring that to them too. And it just, I don't know, it gives me more patience, I think, you know, because sometimes they don't necessarily want to read or they're not very into it. Mm -hmm. But having patience with them and bringing it out and being surprised. Yeah. Just every day is like a surprise, you know. And I really like that. It just keeps me, you know, it just keeps me living. It makes me yeah. feel good. You know? Wow. Yeah. Awesome. I too. I have to say awareness. Um, just looking at these kids, you, you don't know their stories, but getting to work with them and talk about these books, you actually learn a lot more about them while reading this book. So interesting. They all have such great stories, so. Yeah. yeah. It's like we can meet in common ground through this book. Yeah. Yeah. And now for a message from the fifth grade class. When I get older, I will be stronger. Don't call me freedom. Just like a wave strong black. Just like a wave in black. Just like a wave in black. Just like a wave in black. These students possess insight and wisdom that's far beyond their years. Lit Circles have been a great experience for me, and I've learned so much from them. These are the faces of the future.